Is it too difficult to model a complete 3D building like this in AutoCAD? Not really. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the process of modeling a complete 3D building like this using AutoCAD. Now, previously on this tutorial, I showed you how to convert a 2D floor plan into 3D using the polysolid command and the link to that video will be in the description of this video. And on today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D roof and a fissure board on the 3D floor plan which we made in our previous tutorial. And if you're new here, in this channel, we make videos like this on 2D and 3D building designs. And if that sounds like what you're interested, please kindly click on the subscribe button and the notification button to get updates on my latest videos. Also, ensure you watch to the end of these videos. And to my old subscribers, once again, thank you for stopping by for another session of this tutorial. And with that being said, let's get started on today's tutorial. So to get started, we're showing you how to create a 3D roof and a fascia board. We're going to make use of the 3D floor plan which we made in our previous tutorial. And I'm going to maximize this window so we have the 3D floor plan like this. So to be able to create the 3D roof, we're going to trace the profile of this very particular 3D floor plan. And to get started with that, first we're going to go over to the layers and we're going to switch over to 3D roof layers and then we're going to change the visual style from shade of gray to hidden so we have a 3d floor plan like this we can then select the polyline command to trace the profile of this very particular 3d floor plan so we're going to trace all the way like this So we're going to offset the profile which we just traced so that the roof can have an overhang or an eighth of about 500 millimeters. So we select the offset command and we're going to enter offset distance of 500 millimeters. We can then select the profile and offset this outside my distance of 500 millimeters and press enter. Now we're going to change the view from southeast isometric to the back view and we're going to have this view like this and then we can select the profile which we just offset it and then also copy this up a distance of 500 millimeters and then we press enter and press enter now we're going to select this and right click go to isolate and then hide object we can then hide that particular profile which we don't need for now so before we proceed to create the 3d roof we're going to create the fissure board for this very particular 3d floor plan and we're going to make use of the polyline command to be able to do that. So from this very particular point, we can click and move towards the left by a distance of 100 millimeters. And then we move up by a distance of 100 millimeters. Again, we move to the left by a distance of 100 and we press enter and repeat enter again. Now repeat poly polyline command and we can move down a distance of 100 millimeters. And then move to the right a distance of 100 and then also move down a distance of 100 millimeters and then press enter the next we're going to make use of is the act tool and the option we're going to go with is start end direction so
facial board and then right click and go to isolate then we'll hide object now we can be able to see the profile of this very particular floor plan which we traced previously so to be able to create the roof we're going to select the profile which we traced earlier or offset it earlier and then we're going to select the extrude command and then to get the tapered angle we type t and then we press enter and we are going to prompt we will prompt it to select to specify the angle of taper in this case we're going with 45 degrees and we press enter and then we're going to specify the height of extrusion and in this case i'm going to go with 1000 as the height and we press enter so if you take a look at this extrusion you can see that the roof is not fully extruded and to be able to solve this we're going to go over to the selection tab and click on this drop down menu and select faces the next is we're going to go over to where we have solid editing and we click here i will select extrude faces and then we have we can be able to select this face and then we press enter we'll be prompted to specify extrusion height in this case i can select any of this edge and then i can move to any point or distance and i'm maintaining extrusion or tapered angle of 45 degrees i can press enter and press enter to accept this so we can see that we have a fully extruded roof in 3d in autocad just like this so the next thing we're going to do is if you look at this so if you right click and go to isolate and select isolate object we select this and press enter and we orbit you can see that this is a complete solid 3d and we don't want to have this so we want to create an opening at the bottom of this very particular 3d roof so to be able to remove the bottom part of this very particular roof we're going to go over to solid editing tab and we can click on this drop down menu and we select shell and before we do that we're going to select filter tool face and then we can select this bottom face two times and we press enter and then we enter shell offset distance of about 100 and we press enter and we press enter to accept this so again if we orbit you can see that we have a roof a 3d roof with an inside opening just like this again we go over to the selection filter and we select face with this we can be able to select all the faces on the under part of this roof and we can
with this so i'm going to click on this arrow to move this up at this very particular point so you can see that automatically this material has been applied to the roof of this very particular 3d building which we model in autocad so we can then close this and then we can drag this somewhere like this and then finally we can still orbit again to see this very particular 3d floor plan which we just created in autocad now the last thing i'm going to do is to cut a section through this very particular floor plan or this particular 3d floor plan so that you can see how this looks like so for us to do that i'm going to switch over from custom view to top view and then we have the section plane here so i select section plane and i can draw a section just like this and then this will give us a section we can then switch again back to south is isometric view so we can have a view of how the section of this very particular 3d roof will look like in autocad so this is how to create a 3d roof and a fissure board in autocad when modeling a 3d a complete 3d floor plan or 3d building in autocad so i hope you like this video don't forget to like subscribe leave your comment in the comment section below and i'm going to reply to all of that thanks for watching and i'll catch you in the next tutorial